The oil industry has had a big impact on Aberdeen. For example, Aberdeen's harbour has changed from a fishing harbour to an oil harbour. Aberdeen's harbours are always full of massive ships coming in from the oil rigs. So this is Aberdeen Harbour and uh, originally it would have been a fishing port but now it's pretty much all oil as you can see from the tankers. There would have also been some pretty big warehouses around here to uh, keep supplies. A positive of the oil industry is that new shops and entertainment services have been built such as in Union Square where a cinema has built as well as some very famous shops. The positive effects of oil in Kingswells is that they are building new oil offices which means that there will be newer jobs. This is good so that means that less people will be on the streets and more people will get money to buy cool stuff like really cool cars. Another negative is industrial accidents. This includes Piper Alpha. A disadvantage of oil coming to Aberdeen is the shops and facilities have become of a higher price and may become unaffordable for people on a lower income. The main impact for all my family is they both work in the oil sector and they both have jobs there. So that's what brought us to Aberdeen and that's why we're currently staying in Aberdeen. The advantages to having oil in Aberdeen is that it brings a lot of jobs for people. There are 41,000 people working on and offshore in Aberdeen for oil companies. The disadvantages are that in over just over 30 years the oil should run out and then there's going to be 41,000 people in Aberdeen who are unemployed and I think that if Aberdeen ran out of oil there wouldn't be, it would be loads of people would leave and lo loads of things would close down and the city wouldn't be as big. Um, if Aberdeen is unable to use oil for energy I think that they may resort to using um, power from like water or from wind energy opposed to oil. Okay, well, I'm French and I moved here in Scotland with my family because my dad works at Schlumberger, it's an oil company, and we moved here because of his work, basically. And But I really like it, though. It's really cool and it's a place where you find oil just about everywhere and it's really cool. Uh, compared to Nigeria, Aberdeen has quite a good track record environmentally and it hasn't had many disasters that have destroyed lives and environment. The house prices have risen as well and this affects people in Aberdeen. It affects them because if they have no not if they don't have as much money as other people it might be harder for them to buy a nice house that they want in a good area. The areas have changed in Aberdeen as well. In the west of Aberdeen there's many nice houses but around, the, around back there, they're not so nice. Aberdeen was in decline due to the traditional industries that were running out. And when oil came, it really gave Aberdeen, well, it changed it into a new and upcoming city. And now it's called the oil capital of Europe. The only problem that uh, the oil from the North Sea is going to run, run out eventually and it's going to be back where it started. It's different from Nigeria because when oil came to Nigeria it hadn't developed yet, but Aberdeen was quite a well-developed city when oil came. One of the positive effects of the oil industry is that local entrepreneurs can set up companies, such as Sir Ian Wood who set up the Wood Group in 1982. This means that local people can get jobs at their companies and it has now become a multi-million pound business. Personally, the oil industry hasn't affected me. Neither of my parents work in the oil industry and so we would still probably be living in Aberdeen anyway. The difference is that my family haven't been affected by not working in the oil industry, whereas in Nigeria there is a big difference in salary from those who work in the oil industry and those who don't.